So here it is secondary storage devices. Secondary storage devices. What is the primary storage devices? RAM and ROM are a primary storage devices. What is the main memory? What is main memory? Your RAM is your main memory. Primary memory, sir. RAM and ROM. Primary memory or primary storage devices, but secondary storage devices means if you have this one or not, it is not a mandatory. But RAM and ROM is compulsory to to start a computer, but secondary memory is not at all mandatory. But still, the secondary memories is important. Why? Because we store a mass storages. We store operating systems, applications, data in the secondary storages. In this one, we have a magnetic storage and optical storage type of storages are there. So what is this magnetic type storages? So here it is, hard disk, floppy disk, tape drives, zip drives. Floppy disks are not using nowadays. Okay, I will tell hard disk. That's why I'm not talking about hard disk first. Okay. So if you see, this is a floppy disk. The maximum size of floppy disk, the maximum. What happened? The message is not showing immediately. It is another problem. No problem. So we'll see that one later. See, these are the floppy disks. It is a 1.44 MB. Okay, this type of small floppy disk, 1.44 MB. Okay, so like this. This is the earlier days. They use this floppy disk for storing operating system data, data transmission, booting the PCs. Okay, so this is floppy disk are very important those days. You know, there is separate class for a floppy disk, how floppy disk works, how to read a floppy, how to make it as a right protection. So can you see this is button is there. So you have to, you can lock floppy. So if you lock it, you cannot read what are the content. It. If you unlock it, you can write into that one. So one read mode, write protection kind of stuff is there. Okay. Read protection, write protection. This, this, this. Okay, so this flappy days, yes, so that time it is very costly, 15 rupees. But we don't have a choice because flappy disk is very easy to insert and store data. Is there? Okay. Not Kumar King and Sist. And of course, nowadays, if you got a, you know, a mobile phone, so think about a mobile phone, not even a uh, 64 internal memory, uh, 128 internal memory, still not enough. Uh, within uh, six months to one year, uh, everything is full. Okay, of course, now we, we have a uh, online thing like in Netflix, Amazon, and uh, everything we got a uh, OTT platforms. We are not much uh, uh, thing. Okay, even a music also music apps are there, free apps also available, right? So paid apps, free apps. Uh, so lot of things are in online streaming. Data is there. That's why we are not having that much pain. But earlier. If you don't have enough, you know, so if you want to store data and transmitting data. Now, if you take a picture, the picture is 5 MB. OK, so like that. So but that time, the mostly that you are having text files to transfer the text data. Operating system, entire operating system, you can able to put it that time in a one flappy disk. OK, and it is very risky also, guys. A lot of virus effect possibility is there. Best possibilities. Anyway, we are not using because it's a very, very less data. 1.44 MB. OK. 
okay not gbs mbs okay that is the highest memory size next one is guys is a tape drives okay uh, before go to tape drives i will go to zip drives because zip drives also very less very very less we are using zip zip drives olden times they will use this zip drives for a heavy data transmission this is look like a floppy only it's a kind of floppy disk only but it is 100 mb 200 mb zip drives are there so that time operating system size is also less like you know they will copy entire one system then paste into multiple system installation of operating system time okay uh, heavy data transmission time so they use this kind of a zip drives now i think it's zip drives are very less okay next one is tape drives these tape drives are important why because of still we are using these tape drives maybe we don't use we, we may not using for a uh, regularly but still in our companies we are using these tape drives main purpose of these tape drives is for storing backup you know in aws cloud services in aws okay we have a you know what is the point it is uh, uh, you want to you have a instances are there or maybe some data is there some you program is there you want to take a backup in the cloud itself so for a cheaper solution means in the cloud everything is you have to pay and use only so you have to pay for a backup so you want to choose if you choose tape drive type of backup then it is a cheaper cost compared to uh, backup in the other hard disk okay cc cams normally cc cams uh, we are storing into the hard disk but in a continuous like a longer period of time you want to store backup uh, like uh, with a cheaper solution, so, so certain organizations use tape drives for store the CC cam. Okay, so one problem with the tape drives is the sequential memory, guys. It's like a, it's not like your hard disk. Hard disk we can connect, or CD-ROM we can connect. We can choose what are the data you can choose, and you can access the data. Okay, particular file we can access directly, but this is not like that. So this is sequential. Once it is copied, you can you cannot access directly. Okay, you have to connect it to your system and you have to dump into your system, then you can check it. But it is good for backup. Okay, it is a good for backup. The other names like a DDS, Digital Data Storage, DAT, these are the names, these audio tapes. These are the cassettes. Okay, cartridges are there. So this is just we have to insert into the drive and we can take a backup. Once it is full, so then again we have to insert another one. So it will copy into another one. Just like it is old style uh, packet. Uh, uh, recorder only. Cassette recorder only. Okay, I said the hard disk I will tell you. So hard disk, generally we are using hard disk. Now SSDs we are using hard disk details. So we will tell you. Okay. Optical storage devices. This is also we are not using nowadays because of we have a much cheaper solutions and data transmissions, data storages. Now it is very easy because uh, we can store in a Google Drive, One Drive, cloud storage is there. Uh, external hard disk also available. Okay, and only for a few things we use till we can useful. Uh, this thing, okay and earlier days we have to like a flappy disk as i said very old olden days we use a flappy disk for storing data for transmitting data now pen drives are came in between that so when pen drives are also very less available at that time also still cd dvds are available bad thing is there is less market for a dvd dvd is Blu-ray discs. Blu-ray discs are not getting a popular. The CD, CD is, is a 700 MB maximum storage you can do it. MB. Okay. 
If you choose DVD, DVDs are 4.7 GB. It's a very bigger 4.7 GB. Now we can get in your good internet connections. We can download, transfer data very easily. Okay, and pen drives also we are getting right. 32 GB pen drive, 16 GB pen drive, uh, 30 uh, means um, like 8 GB pen drives we have. Okay, 64 GB pen drives we have. Okay, so memory cards also very big memory cards we are getting. It has become very easy for people. So the demand for a CD and DVD. Earlier it is very huge, now it is very less. Okay, DVD players are there for watching movies or uh, listening music, music CDs are there, music DVDs are there. Now it is all are gone. Next one is Blu-ray. When Blu-ray came into market, that is also people think yes, DVD next level is Blu-ray. It is can store 25 GB minimum. Okay, in a single layer, in double layer, it is uh, around uh, 50 GB you can able to store. But the 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 CD cost means the cassette cost, the Blu-ray disc cost is very high, and as well as 50 rupees around the price minimum price. It's cheaper price it is 50 rupees is and the the writers and readers also costly and uh, of course the what it is these things online things came up so obviously uh, blu-ray is not uh, start using in any places like you want to store 4k type of movies blu-ray is best even if you, we can still we have a external uh, cd writers dvd writers external Blu-ray writers also available. Blu-ray very less people will buy. And in DVDs also, double layer DVDs also there, that is 8 or 8.5 GB. 8 or 8.5 GB double layer DVDs also there. Okay. Next, uh, still we are using Blu-ray days for uh, gaming things like PS4, Okay, um, next one is like a Xbox. Xbox the things still we are using a Blu-ray kind of connectivity. Okay, like this, see. Because it is a game is very bigger size, so obviously we need to compulsory use the Blu-ray Blu kind of uh, uh, disc only. Okay. We cannot uh, use normal CD, it is not enough. For uh, Xbox uh, also okay, but PC games, PC uh, related games are not uh, fit into this one. Okay, the players, so you have to download, that is a better option. And gaming also mostly now online, so directly. Um, like if you take uh, Xbox, series edition so this is does not contain any blu-ray or cd dvd kind of stuff it's a, a digital version this is ps5 digital version okay so just simply you can download uh, if you have a good very good internet speed then download a game like a 50 GB game into this drive, play game, and happy. That's it. Okay. For some people, mainly people who are in India, <laughs> like us, Indians. Okay. Problem is, if I have a DVD or a the cassette, or the Blu-ray cassette, like the PS4 cassette is the once I played completed, I can give it to someone. So he can be able to play. And the second hand the gaming is there, pirated versions are there. But digital version, it is not like that. You have to pay for uses. Okay. So these are the things about secondary storage, guys. Next one is so about a hard disk or a other kind of stuff. Also, I'm telling there is missing points here. Okay. 
So hard disk, we are using internal hard disk, SATA, FATA type of hard disk are there to, for a storing operating system applications and data. Nowadays, we are getting a SSDs to store your data, your operating systems, applications and data, we are using SSDs. Of course, hard disk as well as SSDs are only SSD laptops are there. Okay, so these SSDs also having a uh, two type of connectivity. One is the M.2, another one is a SATA interface connectivity. And of course, externally we can store data. So that is like a USB pen drives, USB external hard disk to store uh, data for a data transmission purpose, backup purpose, and as well as unnecessary data in your PC, better to copy in a outside. For that one, it is external data, DVDs use, external hard disk is useful. Next one is EMMC. EMMC is a memory card. Sorry, a memory card type of are there and EMMC kind of stuff is there. You know, we have all EMMC. Generally, people having a misconception about it. This one, EMMC. EMMC chips are there. Most of these chips are on board of your mobile phone, tablets, mini laptops use this EMMC. Actually, E is a small letter EMMC. Okay. So normally you buy a mobile phone. In mobile phone specification, it is there now 4 GB RAM. Okay. 32 GB internal memory this 32 gb is nothing but emmc storage it is on board it is not external like a not moving part it is directly on your mobile phone inside a chip is there not memory card actually it is not memory card this internal so to instead of telling emmc in mobile specification they show rom rom memory ram memory Actually, it is ROM memory is a completely wrong concept. It is EMMC concept. 64 GB EMMC. Google uh, no laptops also there, no? so like uh, mini laptops. Chromebooks. Okay. Present. Okay, mini laptops, not this one. Okay, some are having a it comes under mini, these are not mini laptops, it is a big laptop. Only. Okay, uh, this is C 128 GB EMMC. 21,000 4 GB RAM, 128 GB EMMC storage. Celeron N processor, 4020 processor. Detachable to in one processor system. <laughs> this is different, it's a kid's laptop. So can you see, this is the Chromebook. MediaTek processor, not even an Intel processor, it is 11 inch processor system. 4 GB RAM, 64 GB EMMC. Okay. So these are the e, about EMMC type of storage. Okay. Next one we're going to see about first hard disk. Guys, up to here, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So where I need uh, one more space. Okay. 
Okay, now we can go to Latar's mobile. Let's Chromebooks. I don't say Chromebooks only because Chromebooks are a mixed part. The first one is guys about a hard disk. Hard disk is a mass storage device. Non volatile. These are all non volatile only. What is non volatile? Even the power is off. Data is still remains in your PC. Okay, sorry, data will remain in the device. Okay, it is a magnetic media. It store data in the platter. Okay, it's a non-volatile permanent storage device. It's a mass storage device. Means huge amount of data we store it. Generally, we store our operating system, applications, and data in the hard disk. So these hard disks are having a two. So you can see this is called a platter. This is called a platter. This is an acuter arm. This acuter arm having a tip that contains a read and write header. And this is a acuter uh, controller kind of stuff. Okay. So like uh, it's a permanent magnet. What will happen? This platter will rotate like this row, like uh, this. It will rotate. Use with the help of a spindle motor attached to it. Okay, so data stored in this this disk only means in this platter only. This arm will go inside and outside like this. Okay, it will read the data and write the data by going to in to out, and data is will be in this platter only. Okay, this hard disk having a two type of interfaces. One is SATA interface, another one is PATA interface. SATA interface, PATA interface. So earlier, uh, still, of course, the technology is IDE type of technology only. It is further developed into ATA. Okay. So still, we are uh, calling it as a IDE type, but it is IDE. Is their technology which is used to connect your hard disk or a CD RAM to transmit the data from your motherboard to your hard disk or a CD RAM? Okay, this is IDE type integrated device electronics. Okay, this IDE further developing to ATA advanced technology attachment. In this advanced technology attachments. The first one is released as a PATA, Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment. Some people call PATA as a IDE, but old IDE interface is 80 pin. PATA interface is 40 pin connector. It is a ribbon type of connector is there. Next is a serial ATA, Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. Seven pin, single wire it is. So, when SATA came with the SATA technology, okay, so it's compared to PATA, it is much faster. And PATA is not further developed after uh, PATA one or two uh, generations. So like uh, after third generation, then SATA is came and PATA type of hard disk is stopped. Then SATA is stuck fa faster and then now SATA interface is three. SATA version is three. 6 Gbps data transmission speed is there. Okay, SATA is a faster than PATA. So not I'm not going more details about this part. Okay, if you want, you can try what is the speed comparison differences. Just uh, I'm giving this PATA SATA kind of uh, interface how it is look like.
cities, SATA hard disk. SATA hard disk. Some people call IDE or PATA. So to avoid a confusion, this type put a this way. Data connector. This is power connection. This is jumper pins to tell this is the master. Another one is slave like that. Master or slave decision by uh, jumper pins. So first one is this is for a data connection. This from here to motherboard we are we have to connect. How to connect using this type of That is enough. So if you see, this is the kind of ribbon cable. OK, this blue type, blue side, this is go to your motherboard. We'll connect it to motherboard. These two, we can connect it to hard disk. OK, one hard disk here, one other hard disk here. Or one CD-ROM here, another CD-ROM here. Or one hard disk here, one CD-ROM here. OK, both we can connect CD-ROM, hard disk, like that also we can connect. If you connect two hard disks, so one hard disk must be primary, another hard disk is, is a secondary. How it will decide depends upon this jumper setting. In which ways we are not uh, using currently uh, any of uh, uh, SATA, uh, means SPATA hard disk kind of stuff. We are using SATA interface cards only. This is a SATA type of hard disk. Yeah, this connectivity is wrong, guys. Actually, uh, that's a world style uh, connectivity. Okay. Yeah. You're telling me? only for uh, how it is looks that's it okay not much okay this is the cable guys one of the one end of the cable go to motherboard another end of the cable is going to here at this see this is the data connection so next to the data connection if you see this is for a power connectivity or smps power connectivity and some hard disk I means certain olden days we don't have a SMPS with a, a SMPS power connectivity uh, connector is not there. So that type time the hard disk coming with a Molex connector like this. Like this type of connector power connectors we use it. Okay. So this is how SATA PATA is look like. Okay, and about a SATA pattern, parallel advanced technology attachment, serial advanced technology attachment.
So this is small point, then uh, we'll tell about a SSD, then we'll take small break. Okay, guys, uh, here it is. These are the internal hard disks. So it's about a internal hard disk and external hard disk. Two hard disks we have. Okay, what is the internal hard disk? Use it to store our operating system applications and data. Mainly to store our operating system and application compulsory internal hard disk or internal SSD only. Okay. Here two type of hard disk 3.5 inches 2.5 inches you know some people by mistake they will buy an hard disk like i want a 1 terabyte of hard disk i want to buy 1 terabyte of hard disk okay so it is showing a external hard disk okay this is internal hard disk now i go to internal hard disk then i purchased it without seeing what type of hard disk it is Okay, it is a desktop related hard disk. I purchased it for my laptop. I see no, oh, it is a one terabyte and then see the cost very good and I purchased it. Later I realize it is not suitable. Meaning is it is for a desktop purpose 3.5 inches desktop based hard disk. Okay, so that is the point here. Okay, next one is 2.5 inches hard disk like now I got it understand internal hard disk for my laptop either you put a for laptop or you can use 2.5 inches internal hard disk see so it is and also remember the cost guys it is 3248 rupees for a one terabyte of yeah this is again 3.5 then where is 2.5 this is 2.5 Okay, this is 3.5 SATA hard disk, 6 GBPS, good. This is a 2.5 inch hard disk, same SATA 6 only. But it is used for a laptops. The cost is showing 4,399 for one terabyte of hard disk. This one terabyte of hard disk for a 3.5 is a 3,248 rupees. Why I said uh, check the cost? Uh, see it is 2.5 inches Western digital uh, hard disk for laptop and PS4 is 3,298. Depends upon company and other details. See it is Toshiba. Slim 2.3200. Uh, you see, to That's this is got a cost, but this is very less cost. You can see again, this is cost. Okay, which is best? No one will tell you that. External hard, external hard disk. This is one terabyte of external hard disk, 4000, like that. So, even. If you go to Western Digital, Western Digital comes under less than uh, 4,000 also. This is Toshiba. So Western Digital Passport. 
western digital element element is little costless okay so it's around a 4000 4200 4300 this is 2 terabyte of seagate it is 5599 so 1 terabyte where is 2 terabyte uh, that is showing 2 terabyte only remaining not showing okay so you got the idea of cost and how external hard disk the external hard disk will connect through usb 3.0 okay to our laptops you don't require any additional power source for your external hard disk okay additional power source is not required generally for, for certain hard disk compulsory required a external power supply means additional power supply have to give both data connection power connection separate separately have to give for uh, normally these hard disks will work with a low power connection so just usb connectivity is enough okay so what is the use of this external hard disk guys you have a huge amount of data in your pc then you can put it you want to transfer the heavy data from one pc to another pc last time just last week only uh, one of our uh, sir uh, asked me about uh, some data like uh, uh, he need uh, some operating system images, uh, certain applications. Those are bigger size. So what we have done, so I shared through external hard disk only. Okay. So to store heavy data, to st transfer heavy data, to store heavy data, which when you want, and also use it for a backup purpose. You want to take your system backup, then connect your external hard disk put your backup data into that one. So it is for safekeeping your data. So if in case of any system problem, you may get a, uh, that's safekeeping. Okay, that is about your external hard disk guys. So are you okay up to hard disk, SATA, PATA? Copy this image. Right, copy image and paste image. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is about a uh, where is this? solid state drive ssds are solid state drive. are you able to hear yes sir yes sir people are not yes, responding when i ask question do you understand hard disk sata pata and external hard disk 3.5 6.5 2.5 if you are keep silent guys problem is i have a application problem 
means this Microsoft Teams problem is there, system problem is also there. Okay. I don't know whether I connected, disconnected, something is happening. Okay, no worries. So solids state of drive. So you know when we are start learning computer time as in our part of uh, diploma and uh, engineering. So that's only words are there. What is SCSI, uh, small system, system, small computer system interface, SSD, solid state drive, BIOS, basic input output system, CMOS, complementary metal oxide, semiconductor. If you write all these things, you will pass in the computer exam. Okay. So we never seen what is SSD, what is SCSI, what is uh, 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 BIOS, what is the uh, SMPS, switch mode power supply. These are uh, abbreviations. <laughs> okay. Now it is there. Okay. So it is a kind of NAND memory, guys. How your memory cards, pen drives are there. Your memory cards, pen drives are there. Similarly, data stores in the chips. In hard days, data stores in the platter. Of course, it is a non-volatile memory. The SSDs are light in very light in a weight. The weight is also very smaller. Okay, weight of the SSD is also is a very less. Weight of the SSD is very less. It is small in size, okay, and easy to carry because it's a lightweight, small size, easy to transport. It consumes very less power. It's small in size, of course, okay. Next one is data transmission is good. So compared to SATA hard disk, data read and write and data transmission is high compared to SSDs. OK, so it is suitable for a uh, operating system and applications faster booting possible fast booting. Faster booting fast booting purpose fast loading applications heavy applications are there. So SSD is easily can able to load those applications. So those are the benefits of uh, SSDs, but it is not suitable for storing data. Why? Because of SSDs are costlier than normal hard disk. You have a regular data is there. For example, I will show you uh, my my storage. Okay, this PC. If you see this H drive, this H drive all are contains my virtual machines. Around uh, more than 400 GB, around uh, 500 GB, means 450 GB guarantee. Okay, around uh, 440, 450 GB data is only virtual machine data, not other data. Okay, so 442 GB only virtual machines data is there. Of course, C drive contains both operating system and applications and other data is also there. OK, but other data is also heavy here. So guys, SSDs are costlier than normal hard disk. So you can if you put a normal data, it is. You're putting more cost on it. So the better laptop is always laptop or desktop. Use SSD. For your operating system and application like a 250 GB SSD or a 512 SSD. Use one SSD for your operating system and application. For any other external data, put better to put it in a hard disk, separate hard disk, okay? So it is not suitable for storing heavy data because of SSDs are costly. Here I've written, uh, 250 GB SSD, the cost is equivalent to one terabyte of hard disk. Only we have seen one terabyte of internal hard disk for both laptop and desktops also, right? But I am here, I am going to this SSD part.
Okay. In SSDs also different compatibilities are there. It is 500 GB SSD. This type of SSD is around 6,500. Of course, it is crucial. It is so 240 GB, 1,700. This is less cost, but now it is when I purchase that time it is 3,000. <laughs> now it is better cost. So if you go to one terabyte of normal SATA interface SSD. Okay, this is there now. So, so we'll go to this. This is 240 GB SATA interface SSD. 2.5 inches. I'm going to one terabyte of Western Digital. One terabyte SSD SATA interface SSD. How much cost? Six thousand two hundred two eighty six. Okay, so how much is this? One terabyte. How much for a two terabyte of laptop hard disk? So I will go to two terabyte of laptop hard disk. This is two terabyte, two point five inches. So in, almost like it is a double the cost. Now maximum uh, hard disk are coming. So max to max lot of hard disk are coming into market. So then it is a cost is reducing I means sorry. Um, uh, SSDs cost us are reducing, but still it is not matches with a regular hard disk cost. OK, this is very costly. This is uh, NVMV type of a hard disk are uh, very costly. OK. Yeah, one more is there guys in SSDs. Not only uh, as this the benefits, also we have to check it. Different interfaces of hard disk means two type of SSDs are there. Two type of SSDs are there. One is SATA interface SSDs. Another one is NVMV dot M dot two NVMV M dot two type of interface. Two type of SSD interface is there. Two type of SSD there. So SATA interface SSDs look like this one. Okay. So directly, like if you have a normal desktop or a laptop. You can. Insert. This SSD to a SATA interface. Okay, you can interface uh, SATA interface on a motherboard directly can put it through SATA cable or if it is a laptop SATA interface directly you can connect it no problem. Okay, next one is this M.2 type of SSD. This M.2 type of SSD is we directly inserting into the motherboard. So we don't require any. Better uh, crop. Oh. Oh, it is clearly we can ever see. Okay, so this is. Kind of see, see if you see these edges directly, we can insert into motherboard. So here it is. Uh, any pictures? Yeah. So NVMe M.2 motherboard. Okay. See how is inserting? This is on motherboard. Like your RAM, your pro see how this is the graphic card. This is. M.2 slot. This is PCS slot. Okay. 
like this. This is also one M.2 slot. Some motherboard having a single, some motherboard having a two, three additional slots for a distance. Even nowadays, you when you are purchasing a laptop, so make sure if it is a SSD based laptop, make sure you should have a multiple SSDs we can able to insert. Okay, one SSD, we can use it for an operating system and application. Another SSD, we can use it for a data storage. Okay, so directly we are inserting on motherboard. So we are not using cables for a M.2. Obviously, data transmission is increases. Okay, so read and write speed of this SSD is like this. Read and write speed of this SATA interface SSD is like this. So that's the difference between these things. Okay, guys. SSD and hard disk differences. Hard disk is heavy SSD is a lighter. Hard disk data storage in a platter. SSD data stores in the chips. Okay, so hard disk is we cannot uh, uh, transport that much easy because there is a components, uh, separate, separate components are there like a platter, actuator header, actuator arm kind of stuff, strain delimiters. So separate, separate uh, components plus logical port is also there. Okay, but SSD is, is a single board only, all are chips only. So it is very easy to carry, lightweight, small in size also. Okay and low power consumption ssd is a low power consumption data transmission speed and data read and write speed is compared to ssd sorry as compared to hard disk ssd is better and ssds are more suitable like it will provide a faster booting okay so for a, like you can store operating system and applications you will get a fast booting faster application loading is also there with the ssd Okay, SSDs are costly, little costly than normal hard disk. So then, so heavy data, you have a heavy data, better to store in hard disk. For operating system application, better to store in SSDs. Okay, so in SSDs also two type of interfaces, like a hard disk having two type of interfaces, but both are connected to your motherboard, uh, like a part of SATA type. But here in SSDs, SATA interface SSD, we can connect it to normal SATA interface and uh, M.2 type of SSD directly we are connecting to motherboard. Either it is laptop motherboard or a uh, desktop motherboard, we can directly connect it. So that interface must be there before that. Okay, these are the differences and about uh, your SSD. This is a compulsory question, guys. Hard disk and SSD differences because of uh, Nowadays, most of the laptops, desktops are with the SSD based on it. Next one, if you go to server also, server uh, blade server, if you take a blade server, SSD is a built-in one. This is Next one, we will going to discuss about a ZPT, MBR, difference between ZPT and MBR, what is uh, partitioning and what is file system after that. Understand, guys, up to here? Yes, sir. Sorry, yes, sir. Tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. 